We'll be solid on a rock in just a second, but first, we're giving away all these decks, and they're coming in this dungeon. If you want to get them, stick around to the end to find out how. We also got a bunch of content coming out this week. Check this chart. That's when you should look for a notification on YouTube. What's up, Spikes? Welcome back to the Spike Feeders World Headquarters for this very special, very exciting, sponsored by Wizards of the Coast episode of Precon Magic for Modern Horizons 3. Jim, I'm so excited today. Alex, I'm so excited too. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. We're all so excited because today you have one opportunity. Just today, you can go down, like this video, comment on this video, and help us keep bringing this content to you. It has never been more important that you go down and like and comment. And if you haven't yet subscribed, why aren't you subscribed? Why are so many people not subscribed, Jim? Please subscribe. Anyway, folks, we're really excited to bring this to you today. Wizards of the Coast has sponsored us to show this to you, so we're going to give you a first look at the Modern Horizons 3 pre-cons. However, I didn't win the dice roll. That was Elliot. Yeah, somehow uh, I'm I'm back uh, uh, in the in the first position where I'm not usually, uh, and I am playing the Eldrazi deck. The Ulalek Fused Atrocity is my commander, and it's a uh, there's a little asterisk a six color deck because the colorless symbol uh, has to be produced specifically with colorless mana. Mm -hmm. So he is uh, all five colors. I'm gonna try to. Sorry, all five colors plus colorless. I just oh, made a big yeah, deal yeah. about it. Uh, and I'm going to try to cast Eldrazi spells, copy Eldrazi spells, and copy the triggered abilities and activated abilities of those Eldrazi spells. I don't want you to do that, but that's a personal <laughs> thing. I'm Bill, uh, and today I'm going to be playing uh, a deck that, honestly, of the four, I'm the most excited about personally. Uh, I'm playing the Creative Energy deck, uh, helmed by Satya Aetherflux Genius. Uh, this is a Jeskai Energy deck that uh, allows you to create copies of your creatures when you uh, rumble into combat. Uh, there's also an absolute just load of uh, really, really good uh, energy support that they've printed in this. And uh, I'm really excited to showcase uh, at, le at least some of it, hopefully all of it today. All of it is aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> the entire 99. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> now, as the resident boomer of the Spike Feeders, uh, I would be remiss if I didn't play the boomerist deck available uh, for this game. I am playing Disa the Restless. This is a Boomer Jun deck. Uh, it plays Tarmogoyf, which if you started playing Magic in the past three years, you might not know what this card does. Cares about stuff in your graveyard, specifically the card types. It's going to pump out a hundred of them. <laughs> They're all going to be like four fives, five sixes, six sevens. I, and then I'm just going to attack with like just vanilla large creatures. French a, vanilla. A grande. That's what we call grande. <laughs> <laughs> French vanilla. Yeah, so it's got a mill sub theme, but mostly it's just focusing on putting out Tarmogoyf tokens. That's awesome. Hi, everybody. My name's Alex, and today I'm playing Omo, Queen of Vesuva. This is a Simic deck that asks the question what if everything? Because that's what it does. It makes all my creatures every creature type. But it also, more importantly, makes all my lands every land type, including subtypes like Urza's Tower, Urza's Mind, and Locus. So, if you really want a whole bunch of big mana, come check this deck out. But I'm going last in turn order, so I'll inevitably lose. We also want to thank, as always, our channel sponsor, GameGenic. And now, we're going to crack into our Bastions. I'm going to draw for turn. I'm excited to cast that one, but uh, it'll be a little while. First, I've got a Temple of Milady. I'm going to scry one. <laughs> that one's not very good. That one's going to go to the bottom, and I'll pass the turn. Excellent. I love to hear uh, you having bad cards. I will draw. Uh, I'm going to play this Darker Wastes and then tap it for a colorless uh, to play Wayfarer's Bobble. I'm doing what you're supposed to do, but better. Pass. Draw card. Like, listen, I don't want to brag. But Myriad Landscape tapped. Oh. Now that, that's a flex. I'm going to pass. Sounds good. Draw. 
Anyway, uh, just a casual Urza's power plant. We're in danger. <laughs> Didn't he just say that he was going to do some stuff? <laughs> yeah. He's just reading the cards in his hand. Yeah. <laughs> Urza's mine. Urza's power, power plant. plant. Yeah. Pass the turn. Uh, I will untap. I will draw for turn. Hopefully a better one than I put on the bottom. Not quite. <laughs> but I do have this secluded courtyard. I'm going to go out on a limb here, and I'm going to name Eldrazi mm. as it enters the battlefield. So I can uh, tap it to... Add a man of any color for Eldrazi um, spells or abilities. Uh, but, and then it also taps for a colorless. Mm. And then I'm going to tap it for a colorless. Because mm -hmm. I've got an ever-flowing chalice. Uh, I'm not going to... Well, I guess I am. <laughs> Kicked once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just the singular. Mm -hmm. I'll pass the turn. Okay. I will untap and draw. Uh, I was hoping to be able to activate this Wayfarer as well this turn, but I'm going to play this Azorius Chancery, bouncing the Siddhartha Wastes back to my hand. Uh, I have seven cards in my hand, I'll pass to Jim. Huh. Whoa. Normally that's bad, but he I'm had dead. the turn one play. Well, now we know it's in his hand. Aaron's not here to take notes. Cool. Oh, yeah, wait. Uh, <laughs> what was, car. What was, what was the, the collector like? number? Uh. <laughs> I'll draw a card. I'll play a forest as my land for turn and cast this arcane signet. No pass. All right. It, it's kind of like mine, but yeah, similar, similar. Way, way better. <laughs> I mean, in a colorless deck, that's pretty important, right? Yeah. I'll draw this card. Oh, better lucky than good. This top deck, Urza's Tower, is my land for turn. It's getting, it's getting dangerous. <laughs> oh, it's okay. This is only tap for two for my arcane signet. Oh my. Oh. God. This is Alex's strategy is better lucky, comma, then good. <laughs> <laughs> better lucky. Afterwards. <laughs> good. Better plus lucky, comma, then good. <laughs> if lucky, then good. <laughs> Pass the turn. Oh my gosh. Mm. Uh, you know what they say. Uh, the ramp starts coming and it don't stop coming and it don't stop coming. Uh, I've got a Bonders Enclave and I'm going to cast... Uh, Two Mind Stones stapled together. This is a Hedron Archive. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, it, it taps for two colorless, which I currently cannot do anything with. I'll pass. <laughs> okay. Uh, untap, draw. Uh, I'm going to play this oh. Adarkar Wastes. Ooh, scary. <gasps> oh, scary. Okay. Oh, let, let me cross that out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll tap this Azorius Chancery for two to play this Talisman of Creativity. Mm. Uh, and then tap a Darker Wastes and the Talisman both for Colorless to activate my Wayfarer's Bobble. And mm. search for a basic land to put it into play tapped. Approved. Sure. Uh, off of this Wayfarer's Bobble, I'm going to get this Mountain and put it into play tapped. Mm. Uh, perfect mana base. Pass the turn. Okay. okay. I will draw a card. Uh, I'm going to play this Evolving Wilds. Uh, and I'm just going to crack it. I'm going to get this Mountain into play tapped. And I'm just going to pass. Sounds good. We're going to untap, upkeep, and draw. What's cooler, blue or green? Than being cool? Yeah. Ice cold. Right, blue it is. We'll play this island for turn. We'll oh, tap one. Right, that, he's got a forest, he's got a forest. <laughs> we'll tap one, two, three for Omo, Queen of Vesuva. Whenever they, I guess, enter the battlefield or attack, put an everything counter on each of up to one target land and on one target creature. So mm. we'll make Omo everything, and we'll make this island everything, including an Urza's Mine. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, it's Urza's mind power plant tower. <laughs> right, <laughs> certainly. And a locust. And a locust. That might be relevant later, but it's irrelevant now. Pass the turn. All Why right. is Alex threatening us? <laughs> That's my job. Yeah, I came here to have a good time. You, you literally, you literally pay me to be threatening. <laughs> uh, I will untap and draw. I just want to be like my good friend uh, Bill, a dark art waste. <gasps> no way. Ooh. So I will add uh, colorless, mm -hmm. a colorless. Mm -hmm. A colorless, mm -hmm. a colorless, mm -hmm. and a black. <laughs> and cast Ulek, Fused Atrocity. Effects, effects, effects. No. I'm tapped out. Hey, you got I've it. got a 2-5 mm -hmm. that's going to attempt to do things next turn. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I'm going to untap. Uh, upkeep, nothing triggers. Uh, okay. But I do draw a card in my draw step. Uh, I'm going to play this Plains as my land for the turn. I'm going to tap the Talisman. Uh, and the planes and the Adarkar Wastes for a total of three. Those are both colorless. Uh, I'm going to play Conversion Apparatus. Ooh, well, uh, well. This is a mana rock uh, <laughs> that I can pay three and tap it to get three energy, and I can also pay three energy to get three mana in any combination of colors. Because this taps for one, I'll tap it for a colorless. Uh, white, blue, and red. And I will cast my commander, Satya, Aetherflux Genius. Hmm. Uh, he has Menace and Haste and is a 3-5. I would like to move to combat. Oh, <laughs> and haste. <laughs> I'm going to tag Elliot for three. Free. Yeah. <laughs> Menace. Uh, I do have an attack trigger to gain two energy. Uh, mm. I don't have any valid targets to copy, but I do get the two energy. 
Uh, mm. And I'll pass the turn. I'll adapt. Draw a card. So we went commander, commander, commander. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you know you don't have to, but all the cool kids. I'll play this forest. I'm going to tap five. I'm going to cast my commander. Mm. Disa the Restless. Uh, that's a five, six. Whenever a Lurgoyf permanent is put into my graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield, put it onto the battlefield. Uh, whenever one or more creatures I control deal combat damage to a player, I create a Tarmogoyf token. How come yours is a 5-6? Mine's a 2-5. So you just make free Tarmogoyfs? That's like $200 worth of value. I know. I mean, if it was 2016. It isn't? No, Dang. unfortunately. It's <laughs> 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 rippling away. I'll pass the turn. We'll play Forest as our land for turn. We're going to tap Urza's Power Plant for two, and this Forest for green. For Sage of the Maze, that's an elf wizard that says, tap to add two mana in any combination of colors, or tapped until end of turn target land I control becomes an XX citizen creature with haste, in addition to its other types, where X is twice the number of gates I control. Activate only as a sorcery. Unfortunately, I only control one gate right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh they're they're like, oh, gate support, cute. <laughs> no, we're dead. Got it, yeah. got it, got it, got it. <laughs> we'll tap Urza's Tower for three. I really like that they included the reminder text, if you control a land with all land types, it taps for three. Mm -hmm. Helps remind people like me. That's, oh, that's nice. actually really nice. I'm going to tap this island for green and this arcane signet for blue. For urban evolution, <laughs> urban oh. evolution says draw three cards. I may play an additional land this turn. Goodness. Alice's deck is cooler than mine. I have a complaint. <laughs> <laughs> draw one, two, three. That said, I may play an additional land this turn, right? I think so. It, it sure still does. Did. Yeah. Sure did. Uh, in that case, I will play this thespian stage. Anyway, for that, you can take one. Oh. <laughs> but before that, I have some triggers. Yes. I'm going to make Sage of the Maze and everything, and I'm going to continue the tradition of making my basic land types much more interesting, and make this forest and everything. Hmm. I think that is the end of my turn. Alrighty. I will untap, and draw for my turn. What was that about? Better lucky than good, right? <laughs> Somebody yeah. said that? Yeah, something like so that. are you starting with lucky, or are you starting with good? Well, I'm starting with this Battlefield Forge because I oh, I would like to do additional things. All right, so Bill, Bill's guy over here has has Menace, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, well, I don't like that. So I'm gonna cast this Inversion Behemoth, which is a uh, four mana two nine. Oh my gosh. Uh, and it's me casting an Eldrazi spell. So I'm gonna pay two colorless to activate my commander and make a copy of uh, all spells I control, which is currently only the Inversion Behemoth. Uh, point of order, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, resolves. Yep, yeah, uh, resolves. Yeah. <laughs> I've got two two nines, and they both say, at the beginning of combat on my turn, I can switch the power and toughness of each of any number of target creatures until end of turn. You got any zero ones? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Unfortunately, nobody currently has got any zero ones, but I'm, I, I got my eyes open. You can make my guy a six five. You know what? I'll move to combat. Yeah. I would like to make my guy a 5-2. Mm. I would like to make Jim's <laughs> commander a 6-5. <six> and <laughs> you know what, Alex, yours can be a 3-1. Well, thank you. Yeah. Mm. Built. <laughs> <laughs> I thought for sure you were going to attack me because that makes it a favorable attack. Yeah. <laughs> favorable! Like, I gotta pay 7, you know? Then I'm going to follow up with a, uh, what is this, turn 5? Turn 5, second main phase, soul ring. Go ahead. That's all. Well, that's, oh, that's it. That's, yeah, that's everything, it. is it? Just two two nines. Okay. Yeah. Uh, f four eighteen for four mana. Six mana. Sorry, I did I have will to pay six. Draw a card. <laughs> I'm scared of uh, what Elliot has and what he is capable of. So okay. I'm going to just start playing some things to give me some blockers. That's uh, you can I'm, do that. <laughs> I'm going to play uh, multi format all star, Whirler Virtuoso. Ooh. Uh, this is a three and a two three. ETB get three energy counters, and then I can pay three at any point to make a 1-1 one, one colorless Thopter artifact creature token with flying. That seems pretty good. So I'm going to go up to five energies. Then uh, I'm going to tap this Talisman of Creativity for a red taking a damage. Mm -hmm. uh, then Planes Under Dark are wastes uh, for the remaining two to play this Overclocked Electromancer. Oh. Uh, so this is a three mana 2-2. Two, two. Uh, that at the beginning of combat on my turn, I can pay three energy. If I do, uh, this gets a plus one, plus one counter. Whenever it attacks, I double its power until end of turn. And then whenever it deals combat damage to a creature, if that creature was dealt excess damage this turn, I get X energy, where X is the excess damage. <laughs> now, okay. Bill, that's a lizard wizard. Can you confirm? Uh, confirm. Is it? Yeah, it's a lizard wizard. <laughs> Yo! Guys, lizard wizards, I've got them all to concede. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to move to combat. Mm-hmm. I'm going to attack 
Alex with Satya. Okay. Uh, that will trigger Satya. I will get two energy going to seven. Okay. Uh, then I can choose a non-token creature I control and make a copy of it. I'm going to make a copy of Whirler Virtuoso. Oh. Uh, so it will enter the battlefield, and I'll get three more energy going to ten total energy. Wow. Who's that one attacking? Uh, this one is attacking Elliot. I declare no blocks. I will declare a double block on your... Two, three. Give it death touch. <laughs> <laughs> he he that's, could. That's that's fine. Okay. It didn't have a favorable attack anywhere. Anyway. Yeah. Ah. Uh, and then that'll be the end of my turn. I'll pass to Jim. Okay. I will untap. Draw a card. I'm going to tap four. And cast Brawn. Ooh. Uh, that's a three, three trample. And if it uh, at any point is in my graveyard and I control a forest, uh, then it gives creatures I control trample. Hmm. I would then like to move to combat. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think we're going to come in at Alex. Why is everybody bullying me? For five. Because Bill's got chumps and Elliot's got beef. Yeah. 32. 32. I will make one Termogoyf token. Count's currently at three, making it a three, four. Then I'm going to pass. Okie dokie. Going to untap. Upkeep draw. I'm going to tap this Urza's Tower for three. This Forest for a blue. And this Arcane Signet for a green. For Tatiova. Benthic Druid. Oh. Simic Guildgate. Trigger Tatiova. Two gates. Move to declare attacks. We're going to swing this very Omo hmm. at very Elliot. Hmm. Oh, I will block with just... Ju- oh, sorry. You I have some triggers. triggers. You, I, you may. I've got to make everything you everything. Okay, you may. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make Whirler Virtual so everything. If you could take care of that for me. I would like to block with the copy. The copy. Actually, yeah. I'll give uh, Omo Death Touch in my dreams, <laughs> and then we'll move to my second main phase. Okay, my copy has two, one damage mark. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Omo has two. <laughs> Uh, then I'll tap Urza's Power Plant for two, <clears throat> and this island for green to cast Elvish Rejuvenator. Ooh. Mm-hmm. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards in my library. I may put a land card from among them onto the battlefield tapped and put the rest in the bottom of my library in a random order. Off of Elvish Rejuvenator, I'm going to have Flooded Grove come into play tapped. Ooh. That's going to trigger Tatiova. Sure does. That's Sounds a nice reprint. 34. I assume, I guess. I, I have no concept anymore because I, <laughs> I owned all of these when like the expeditions came out, but I assume mm-hmm. that's a good reprint. It, it very well could be. Pass the turn. Untap. Uh, draw for turn. Mm-hmm. I skipped my upkeep, so uh, you can't have any responses. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a basic mountain. Mm-hmm. Almost a perfect mana base. Oh, no, this one. Yeah, perfect mana base. <laughs> <laughs> we got there. So, something interesting about Ulalek Fused Atrocity mm-hmm. is that it says whenever you cast an Eldrazi spell, mm-hmm. uh-huh. Kindred Enchantment Eldrazi Aura. For oh, oh no. Conscription? I would like to cast Eldrazi Conscription. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What? <clears throat> um, Ulalek Fused Atrocity will trigger and I will pay two colorless. To copy all spells I control. Can he do that? Can he do that? Yeah, he can do that. So so here's the thing, though. It's exceedingly greedy, but I could put both of them on my commander and make it a 22-25 Trample Annihilator 2 twice. Mm -hmm. But I I think it is more responsible to put one on, uh, let's say, I'll, I'll put the original on Ululek and the copy on Inversion Behemoth. Mm hmm. I'd like to go to combat. Uh, I have two inversion behemoth triggers. I would like. <laughs> oh. I would like my commander to become a seventeen twelve. Oh. Mm-hmm. My inversion behemoth to become a nineteen twelve. Uh, now. <laughs> oh dear. I have some annihilator triggers. Well, you got to declare. Yeah, your you don't have them yet. Well, that's what I. I yeah. I guess like I have to decide who I'm being. Awfully presumptuous of you, <laughs> <laughs> Elliot. Well, so so that's the thing, right? Is like he could just have like Pongify. So I was like, if I put them both here, it's really bad. Mm. I will attack Bill mm-hmm. with Ulalek because he has taken some Ulalek damage already. I will attack Alex with mm. the inverted. Inversion Behemoth, and my other will uh, stay back. Annihilator 2, Annihilator 2. What was that card you mentioned? Oh, gosh. Pongify? Yeah, Rapid I Hybridization? I don't have that. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, tough. <laughs> what was that card uh, you mentioned? Pongify? Yeah, I'm going to put that in the deck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, add. Um, Annihilator 2, you said. Yes. So before the Annihilator trigger goes off, I oh, have an effect. Please do. Uh, I would like to activate Whirler Virtuoso, hold priority, activate Whirler Virtuoso, <laughs> hold priority, activate Whirler Virtuoso. Uh, I would like to make three Thopters going to one energy. Sure. Annihilator triggers. 
You're first. I will sacrifice two <laughs> thopters. <laughs> Color me surprised. <laughs> uh, it's going to be Arcane Signet and Flooded Grove for me. Damage or blockers, I guess. This uh, is this is a, a 1912 trample. Okay. I'll take 19. I will take 15. All, All right. right. Kill me. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I did what I wanted to do. Yeah, I don't think that I can. But Bill, if I you can get it. rid of this token, I might be able to. Uh, or even if you can tap it. I just got to get I, through unimpeded. I unfortunately can't do any of that. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tap this mountain for a red and this talisman of creativity for a red, taking a damage going to 17. Oof. Uh, I'm going to cast he's just a fun little guy, Grenzo Havoc Razor. Okay. Um, so whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, I either go target creature that player controls or impulse draw the top card of their library and right. I can play it this turn. Right. Um, interesting. <laughs> it triggers if I hit you with multiple creatures. Yes, yeah. multiple times. Yes. Bill's yeah. solution to this is just to point him elsewhere. I'm the, the play and he's the... <laughs> right over here, buddy. This is literally the only thing that I can do. Uh, I'm going to attack Elliot. Uh, I have a beginning of combat trigger. I don't have enough energy to pay for it. I'm going to attack Elliot with Satya, which is a 3-5 with Menace, mm -hmm. uh, as well as a 1-1 one, one Thopter with Flying. Uh, Satya trigger, I'm going to make a copy of Warler Virtuoso, uh, which will also be coming at Elliot, uh, and that'll give me 3 energy, going up to a total of 4. Okay. Uh, I will block the Virtuoso. Copy, because uh, I can. They will bounce, because mine's a 2-9, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm taking 4. Uh, Grenzo trigger, I will goad both of your Eldrazi conscripted creatures. Prudent. Then I'm going to move to the end of my turn and not pay for this Whirler Virtuoso copy, so it will be sacrificed. Now I'll pass the turn. Okay. I'll untap. Draw a card. I'm going to tap 4 and cast Sawhorn ne Nemesis. This is a 2-4 dinosaur. When it enters the battlefield, I'm going to choose a player, Elliot. Uh, if a source w if a source would deal damage to the chosen player or a permanent they control, it deals double that damage instead. <laughs> Noted. I'm at 33. Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to die. <laughs> I would like to move to combat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would like to attack you with all three of my creatures. Mm -hmm. uh, I sense. believe the Tarmogoyf count is still at three. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, so this is a 3-4, a 3-3, and a 5-6, and they all deal double damage. I will declare a block on Tarmogoyf okay. and move to damage. Okay, so uh, 6 damage marked on your creature, and yes. you'll take 16. I will. Going oh down my. to 17. Down to 17. This will trigger Disa, and I will make another Tarmogoyf token. Uh, that's going to be it for me. I'll pass. Sounds good. Something that I realized on your turn, uh, I did not gain two energy from attacking with Satya. Uh, he also just gives me energy. Oh, yeah, right. No, I gained three from the World of Virtuoso. Yeah, so yeah. From one yeah, yeah he was so I am at six. Comments, yeah. I got it. <laughs> cool. Thank you, comments. <laughs> okay, Alex, your go. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, boy. My turn. Hey. Yeah. You have to have anticipated yeah. You know, <laughs> we all had fun. <laughs> <laughs> Draw a card. Ooh. Uh, we're going to tap this Urza's Tower for three colorless. Mm -hmm. We're going to leave two of them floating when we cast Expedition Map. Oh no. That's efficiency <laughs> right there. Oh, no. and, then, uh. and then when we pay the other two into sacrificing the Expedition Map, we're going to go searching for a land card. A, a point of uh, uh, land. Point, point, <laughs> point of point of terror. Point, I think point of is. point of dark depths. <laughs> oh, who knows? It could even be in forest. <laughs> I'll get this dark depths into my hand. Uh, sorry, Legendary Snowland? Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I'm going to play my land for turn. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's Dark Depths. I don't like that. It's uh -huh. going to come into play with 10 uh, ice counters on it. I actually don't mind that. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fine. Good. That response. Uh, re trigger Tantioba. Oh. Gain a life, draw a card. Sure, 16. Extra value. Boop, 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 boop. 16. Oh, Thespian Stage. When did you get here? Uh, we're going to tap Urza's Power Plant Art and... Majors! <laughs> <laughs> ...and Thespian Stage to put my extremely expensive degree into action, where this Thespian Stage becomes this Dark Depths. Since I have two legendary permanents, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sacrifice the Dark Depths. Oh, you sacrificed the correct one. Dang it. <laughs> oh! Misclick. I have this Dark Depths. It has no ice counters on it. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice it. It is no longer everything. Mm. Uh, but it is... It is one very specific thing. Well, yeah. What kind of very specific thing is it, Elliot? Uh, a, a 2020, which is somehow larger than <laughs> my Eldrazi. A 2020? Mm -hmm. Is that 20. all it is? Uh, I think it has flying. I think it has indestructible. Oh, like this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Meryl Age, all right. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, speaking of Merit Lage, we're going to tap one, two for Seder Wayfinder. Uh, you're welcome for the Tarmor Wave help. We're going to look, reveal the top four cards of our library. A Skullvinder, a Thornwood Falls, a Harmonize, and a March from Velis Vell. And we're going to put Thornwood Falls into our hand. March from Velis Vell actually has flashback, and so I'll read that to you real quick. Mm -hmm. It says, choose a non-basic land type. Each land I control becomes that type. Oh, sorry. Of that type becomes a copy of target creature I control until end of turn. And gains, hey, gains haste until end of turn. That increases the Tarmor Wave count by one. How big is your Tarmor Wave currently? Four or five. And how big is your guy? Uh, two, four. Uh, okay, that could kill Omo. I don't want Omo dead. So instead, we'll pass the turn. I will untap uh, and hopefully draw something really, really good. Because mm -hmm. I, I currently have to kill three players. Not like this <laughs> garbage you've been playing up to this point. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. Hey, look. Uh, draw this card. I think the card I drew is pretty good. But I don't think it saves me. Mm -hmm. So I have to tap this Soul Ring to pop my Hedron Archive. Oh. Uh, not growing the Tarmogoyf, notably, mm -hmm. but I am going to draw two more cards. I will play this Twisted Landscape for turn. I got a little more digging to do. I've got a Temple of Malady for a green for this Ancient Stirrings. Oh, Ooh, okay. None of these do anything. This one's so close, though. Okay, I will put. Drowner of Hope into my hand. Oh. Which is a six mana five five with Devoid. Uh, when it ETBs, I make two one one colorless Eldrazi Scions that have the Scion text tapped at or sack to add a colorless. So I will cast Drowner of Hope uh, at a blue with this secluded courtyard that named Eldrazi. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, Drowner of Hope, the Ululek trigger, unfortunately, will not copy it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but it will enter and I will get two Eldrazi Scions. Cool. Then I will head to combat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got two Inversion Behemoth triggers. Mm -hmm. I will make Ululek, uh, this time for real, a 15 12. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this one a 19 12. Everything else yes. can. Stay. <laughs> and as okay. a reminder, they are goaded. They sure From are. From me. With the sauce. Yes. I will attack Jim. With both? With both. Annihilator 2 twice. Okay. First Annihilator 2, uh, Brawn and Tarmogoyf down. Mm -hmm. uh, second Annihilator 2, let's go Forest and Myriad Landscape. I've got a 15-12 and a 19-12. Coming at you with yeah. trample. <laughs> you know what? I've never been a coward, and I'm not about to start now. I'll go to six. Ooh. Gym to six. Wow. Uh, Fifteen Ulalek damage. Pass the turn. At the end of your turn, oh. I would like to pay three into this conversion apparatus to gain three energy. Uh huh. Oh, that's another thopter, if you want. Another thopter. Uh, I will untap. Draw a card. Uh, I'm going to tap this mountain and this talisman of creativity, taking a damage going to sixteen. Uh, so two red, uh, Tapazorius Chancery, and the Adarkar Wastes for the remaining. I would like to cast Lightning Runner. Uh, it's a five minute 2-2 two -two with double strike and haste. Whenever it attacks, I get two energy, then I may pay eight. If I pay that, I untap all creatures I control, and after this phase, there's an additional combat phase. Move to combat. I'm going to pay the three into the overclocked Electromancer for his trigger to put a plus one, plus one counter on him. Uh, then I will attack... Elliot in the air with this Thopter, Alex with this Lightning Runner, and then uh, Elliot with the Overclocked Electromancer as well. Uh, trigger Overclocked Electromancer, double his power, so this is a 6-3, uh, and a Thopter, uh, and then the Lightning Runner is going at Alex. I will also be attacking Alex with Satya. Uh, trigger Satya, gain 2 energy. Uh, make a copy of Whirler Virtuoso. Uh, the Whirler Virtuoso is going to be coming at Elliot. The <laughs> Lightning Runner is going to trigger. I'm going to get two more energy, and then I'm going to pay eight to untap all of my creatures and get an additional combat. So yeah, the Thopter, the uh, copy of Whirler Virtuoso, and the Overclocked Electromancer are all coming at Elliot. Uh, the Lightning Runner is going at Alex for two. All right, I'll block Satya with Merit Lage, and how big is it? On uh, the three five. Three five. Yes. Uh, in that case, we'll also block it with uh, Omo. Good. Sounds good. Okay. And then uh, for your 
Uh, double striker, I'll put Elvish Rejuvenator in front of it. Sounds good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I will block the overclocked Electromancer with my two nine. Okay. And the Virtuoso copy uh, with my Drowner, which is a five five. Okay. Uh, so the Virtuoso copy is going to die. Your 2-9 uh, is going to die because Overclocked Electromancer is a 6-3 that deals double damage. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, because it dealt excess damage, I gain 3 energy. Because it dealt 3 excess damage. Right, so you go to 5 energy. Uh, right. Uh, go to 5 energy. Uh, and then you take 2 from Taking the Thopter? 2. Excellent. Uh, that will give me a Grenzo trigger, and I will goad your commander. Sounds good. Um, Satya dies. Yes. Okay. I Second. assume three damage marked on Oma. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Second combat. Second combat. Uh, I will. Uh, yeah, I'll move to the second combat. I'm going to pay the three into uh, Overclocked Electromancer to give it another plus one plus one counter, uh, and then attack Elliot with the Thopter. Uh, and the Electromancer once again. That will double its power again. So it was six, it's then 12, gained no. one to seven. Oh. Uh, so 14. 14. Uh, I will declare a block with the Scion and then sacrifice it to its ability to add a colorless. Prudent. I was about to have 29 energy. <laughs> yeah. Yep. With a Whirler Virtuoso. <laughs> yeah. Uh <-huh. laughs> um, okay. And then uh, Grenzo trigger on the Thopter hit. Oh, yeah. I'm taking another two. Yeah, down I'm taking to another two. Uh, Grenzo trigger on the Thopter hit will goad your other um, Eldrazi Conscription guy. Yep. That will uh, almost be it for me. I almost forgot to play land. I'm going to play this Is It Boiler Works, bouncing this at Darker Wastes back to my hand. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Rewrite that down. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. Okay. I'll untap. I will draw a card. Okay. I'd like to move to combat. Yup. Uh, Elliot. Uh, these two are coming at you Disa and a Tarmogoyf. That's a 5-6 and a 4-5, and they both deal double damage to you and your permanence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they have trample because of the They do have trample because Bronn right? is in the graveyard, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I will block Disa with my Drowner of Hope, and that is my only block that I will declare. Okay, so four unblocked. Yep. That doubles uh, to eight. Go down to five, uh, and my Drowner takes a million damage. Yeah. And just for the folks at home, um, we, we did have a little bit of a discussion while we were cupped there. Uh, with damage doublers, there's a little bit of an, maybe an unintuitive interaction here. Uh, when I am declaring my attackers, when I'm assigning damage, I have to assign lethal damage for any damage to trample over. And that all happens before anything gets doubled, because the doubling happens at the point where the damage occurs. So I have to deal five damage uh, to the Drowner. There is no excess damage to double. Um, so it'll actually end up taking 10 damage when damage uh, resolves at the end of combat, uh, but there is no trample damage there. The other one is totally unblocked, so it'll deal 8. And because I dealt damage to a player, uh, I'm going to make a Tarmoglyph token. And then I'm going to pass. I blocked with this Elvish Rejuvenator, didn't I? Yes, you did. You it's did. gone. I'll okay. get it out of here. Yeah, he I'm did. sorry. I'll get that out of there. And game, then I'll untap. Game loss. Actually, I could use a game loss here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I could use one real bad. Please, please. I'm sorry. Well, you played your outs, you know. <laughs> Jim, Jim concedes. Um... <laughs> We're going to play Hashtap Oasis as our land for turn. We'll gain a life, go to 17. Tap our Hashtap Oasis for a gentlemanly turn 8 soul ring. Mm. Ooh, Ooh, prudent. Uh, then we're going to tap Sage of the Maze to make this gate a 6-6 six, six gate. That's also a citizen that also has haste. Mm. Then I'm going to tap this Simic Guild gate, activating Sage of the Maze's ability to untap him. To tap him, making this Guild gate a 6-6 six, six with haste. Is that a land? Yes. Still, still land? It is still, it's still land. land. It's still land. It's still land. That's my favorite bit of rules deck. It's still land. Calm down. It's still land. Okay, we're going to move to declare attacks. Uh, Merit Lage is going to go at Bill mm -hmm. in the air. Uh, and these two guild gates should hopefully kill Elliot. And I'll leave everything else back. Interesting. I've got uh, a block to declare here. Yes, please. <clears throat> um, one Eldrazi Scion will block one everything for us. Please take 12. Okay. Excellent. It's still 12. Uh, uh, yes, I am one energy short of being able to block Merrily. Yeah. Huzzah! So I die. <laughs> so, so that's two. Elliot dead, Bill dead. Elliot dead, Bill dead. Uh, and then I will threaten Jim with a good time from this Oblivion Stone. Ooh, okay. Sure. You can't activate it. I can put a fake counter on something. Sure. Okay. Pass turn. I will untap. Draw a card. I'm going to move to combat. Yeah. I would like to attack you with a 5-5 five, five and two four fives that all have trample. 
Um, I'll block one of the four vines with Omo. Okay. And take five less than whatever, or four less than whatever it was. So you'll take nine? Take nine. In my post combat main, I'll tap three and cast Polygoyf. Oh. This is a Goyf. Sure. And it has Trample and Myriad. Uh, do you also want to get uh Yeah, I'll also make a Tarmogoyf token yeah. off of the uh, combat trigger. It's pretty cool. Sounds good. Three Tarmogoyf tokens? Yeah. <laughs> Value. <laughs> Value. That's like $600. <laughs> That's better than a Burst Lightning. Then I'm going to pass the turn. Uh, do you have any Flyers, Jim? Not at the moment. I'd like to win the game. You got Lethal? He's got a Merit Lage. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, good game. <laughs> Decision that I made might have been the wrong one. I had this uh, Eldrazi Angel Maker guy, mm -hmm. but I didn't have anything to sacrifice to it. It's it specifically... Uh, so Angelic Aberration, 6 mana 4-4, four, four, Flying Vigilance. When it ETB, sacrifice any number of creatures each with base, power, or toughness, one or less. Oh. So it's like supposed to sack the Scions right, right. to turn them into 4-4 four, four Angels with Flying and Vigilance. Wow. But I think if I play this and copy it, I have two Flyers. But then mm. I was like, if I play the mm. other guy, I make the two things that can tap things. Right. Uh, I also had Eldrazi Monument in my hand, which <laughs> yeah. was a consideration. Uh, uh, that's the... I was like trying to do some quick math. Like, it made this guy... 16 and the um, inverter yeah, 20, 20. Yeah. and Jim was at 40 exactly. He hadn't taken any yeah. damage all game, so I couldn't kill him. And then this would have given my other inverter flying to block the right. uh, mm. yeah. so that that this was like maybe my closest chance of of living. Yeah. But, yeah. but the uh, double damage really changed the math. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I uh, was totally blinded by the con by the uh, prospect of getting, uh, I think it was 27 Excess energy damage. Uh, <laughs> from hitting one of these Eldrazi Scions. I completely forgot that he can sacrifice it uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. because I was just tunnel vision done. That would have been super sweet. I would have been able to make a bunch of Thopters. I'll say nine Thopters is hard yeah. to get through. And then um, with like double combats too with the uh, oh. light Lightning Runner. Or and Satya. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this card. That's yeah, this, this card's awesome. <laughs> that card's really Sweet it's really, really yeah. sweet. You were in an incredibly dangerous position, Jim. I was. I, I feel like, I don't know, I, I feel like people did a good job of managing the card types in their graveyards mm, that yeah. game. Um, it, it's being stuck at four is a little awkward because a lot of stuff had five toughness randomly. Yeah. Um, but being able to double the damage was sweet. And uh, I didn't really draw anything. I, at the end of the game, I was stuck with a bunch of five drops in my hand. Mm. And after sacking two lands to, yeah. um, or two mana sources to uh, uh, the Annihilator trigger, I was just kind of stuck with like four or five drops in hand, yeah. um, which kind of sucked. But um, I did have the Polygoyf right at the end there, and then I also had a um, a random fork effect. So I was like, ah, maybe Elliot just drops like a 10-drop Eldrazi sorcery or something like that, <laughs> and I just get to copy it and do something really cool. That was why I left up mana on the second last turn. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it didn't work out. But, that was, yeah. That's still very cool. This yeah. deck uh, was just consistently threatening. It had a lot of toolbox effects, and having Expedition Map come in off of one land and go get Dark Depths was sick. Yep. Um, that was a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, obviously, I put a big target on my head when I did the double <laughs> Jazzy conscription, but then it, it was like such a like precarious place to be in, right? Because like it, it didn't actually kill anybody. Yeah. And with yeah. with Bill goading them, because yeah. my optimal play, I think, on the turn like after that is like killing Bill yeah. or like trying to kill because I can play the Drowner and. Uh, tap um, Alex's Merit Lage and uh, Bill's thing, and I think kill both of them, and then die to Jim. Yeah. Like it was, it was like such a like weird. Position. Yeah, it was like a standoff at the end there. I think. Yeah, yeah. You know, everybody was, was so low. Yeah. Wow. If you want to get low and get down under this video and hit that like button, we'd really appreciate it. This episode has been sponsored by Wizards of the Coast, and the way you tell them that you want to see more of this is hitting that like button, leaving a comment, and subscribing to the channel. Why aren't you subscribed? Like, one third of you aren't subscribed. Just do it. You watch all these anyway. Mm -hmm. Get them in your inbox. We also want to say thanks so much to Gamegenic, who are going to ship you these precons in this lovely Dungeon S550. All you gotta do is check the pinned comment for how to go and enter that one. We want to say thank you so much to everyone that watches these, and you're gonna see our patrons. They're gonna be scrolling down below, off to the sides of me, and if you want to see your name up there, all you had to do is head over to patreon.com slash the spike feeders, where for as little as one US dollar, you can join the best Discord that we own. That's right, it's even better than the one that we have privately to do production stuff uh, in. Debatable. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's <fair>. pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, folks, 
folks. We just want to say thank you so much for watching this. Comment, like, subscribe. We love you to death. Have a great day.